Welcome to your free movement practice in this seven day trial. Now, just to talk a little bit about what you can expect from this free movement practice. I use the term free movement because I think dance instantly puts that kind of sense of fear in us as to, you know, we need to be doing it a certain way. And what I really try to teach my Soul Sanctuary members is to really try to move from this place of intuition and this place of freedom and fluidity. So I'll be guiding you through the practice still, but I really, really want you to think about where your body wants to go. How does it want to move? And it's going to change hour to hour, day to day into it as in how you feel in your own body, how your emotions feel, how your hormones are feeling, all of those sorts of things are going to have an effect on the way in which you want to move. So before we get started, I would recommend putting on some music that you like. You're going to use that as your guide um, and maybe it might help you feel a little bit more comfortable if this free movement is a little bit newer to you. So we're going to move totally freely to begin with and then we will move into something that looks a little bit more like yoga but still moving from that place of intuition. So I want you to stand up and we're going to get started by just grounding into the feet and finding some buoyancy. So take a bend through the knees and feet, as you can see, my feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart because I really want to feel into this quite sturdy base to begin with. And you can keep your eyes closed for the next however many minutes. You can really, really just take this gaze inwards. Nobody is watching you. Nobody is there. Nobody is judging you. So try to remove judgment from yourself. So as we just stay here with the buoyancy through the knees, maybe we start to sway a little bit side to side. And if that's already too much, can you just find little pulses through the knees, that sense of lightness and bouncing. So for a few breaths, as we just arrive in our space, just asking yourself, how do I feel? How is this moment right now, this looseness, this freedom, how is this making me feel? And maybe your swaying gets a little bit bigger. Maybe you start to actually pick up the toes, and the arms come into play. Just gently moving yourself around. Maybe it gets a little bit bigger as well. And something I love to do at the start of my free movement sessions are with my hands, just shaking the hands out. It's this sense of release, this kind of sense of I'm getting rid of any of this negative energy that's in me right now. And I'm just kind of telling it to be gone so that I can be just me. Okay. And if it's still there, that's okay. But try to get rid of a little bit of it. And then the movement maybe gets a little bit bigger. And what I want you to think about, so is the space around you. Okay. So look at where you are and look at where you're moving and look at your mat. We're in yoga. We're so confined to this rectangle. So today I'm going to dare you to step off your mat, to step away from the mat, to kind of be a little bit more reckless and daring with this movement. I want you to look into the space and as we just move, reach your arms across, bring them back reach them across again and this movement is really free and maybe the music that you put on there's a song that's just come on and that's inspiring you to take your movement elsewhere can you start to pick up the feet and move the legs through space as well there is no right or wrong there doesn't need to be symmetry with this movement in yoga in our practice, we're very used to making everything right, left, right, left, same amount of breaths on each side. But today, this movement is all about just really going with the flow. So keep it moving. And if right now you are looking at the screen, looking at me thinking, oh my word, she's weird. 
I dare you to let go just 10% more and see if you can move your way into this sense of aliveness. So much comes from being kind of open and vulnerable and having the strength to really let ourselves go and let ourselves even be silly. Can If you feel silly, that's okay. I want you to really feel into that silliness. Maybe you start to take some chicken arms. Maybe that's where you're at today, okay? So you're gonna keep moving for a few more minutes here. And make it a dance. Make it your dance though. So not the dance that you think someone else wants to see. Not the dance that you have been led to believe is a textbook dance. But really just freedom in your body. Freedom in your breath. And that is your dance. I'm going to stop talking for a bit and just let you be for a few more minutes. You're going to really just let go. And if you haven't already been all the way down to the floor, down to your mat, maybe using this time to go there, maybe you want to move away from the mat because you haven't done that already. How does that feel just to be on your carpet or your wooden floor? Few more moments before we make our way back to the center of the mat. Making your way there now back to where we started, that buoyancy through the knees. Take a nice big inhale through the nose and let it go. We're going to take some spinal waves now. Again, really, really fluid here, working with your breath. So as you drop chin to chest, rolling your way down, rounding through the spine, you bend the knees. When you get to the bottom, take the inhale, lift and snake your way back up. Exhale, round again, making it as slow and controlled as you need to. A few more times. Moving into the spine, the neck, the backs of the legs. Okay, make your way however you wish into a downward facing dog. And they're really inviting you today to use that intuition. Maybe you float your way there. Maybe there's a little sequence that you want to take to find your way there. Now, in your downward facing dog, rather than just focusing on the legs, which is what we usually do in a downward facing dog, in our first one in a practice, we think, oh, I need to pedal through the feet. But what I want you to think about today is also moving the shoulders. Maybe there's more that comes here for you. Maybe there's a lift of the leg. Work your way over into plank, whatever it is. So 
So think uh, of this practice, more me as your supporter, rather than me as your leader and teacher. Your intuition, your body, your soul, that's your teacher today. And then you're gonna step your right foot between the hands. So from here, just take a moment. So right foot's between the hands. You're in a kind of lunge with the hands down. Now, where do you want to go? What I want you to really think about and what I want you to try and learn is what's my body feeling for today? So maybe it's the hamstrings that want a little bit of work and you step in to find a pyramid. Maybe you want to open up through the chest and you come up, find a high lunge with a little bit of a back bend. So I really invite you to go to wherever feels good. And then wherever you are, undulate. And by that, we move with the breath. So if you're in, your, in a pyramid, for example, you would inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Maybe if you're in your lunge, you open the arms to cactus, inhale. Exhale, come in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, wherever you are, float those hands down, drop the back knee and heel toe the right foot to the outside of the right hand. So we're coming towards a lizard and uh, maybe swaying here. Finding your options. So this could be where you stay. Maybe you come down to the forearms. If your body is asking for a little bit more strength, a little bit more of an activation, lift off the back knee, reach those fingertips forwards. So knowing that your body is your guide. The freedom for you to take the practice that you need today. And then wherever you are, coming back to the hands, heel toe the foot and place the hands down, tuck under the back toes, lift the back knee. You're going to lift up right knee to nose, open it out, Vashisthasana left side. Now from here, can you inhale, take leg and arm up, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, take it up. If you can't, you just hold. Exhale, take it in. Inhale up, exhale, place right foot back down by the left hand, open it up, easy twist. Take an inhale, exhale, revolve Skandasana. Inhale, lift those hips, reach the arm. Exhale, revolve Skandasana. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring that right hand around. Now, options, maybe traditionally you go for a vinyasa. Maybe you're not feeling to be traditional today. If you want to, by all means do. But maybe there's something else, some other way that you take yourself back to the downward facing dog. Remember, no right or wrong. Again, when you get to that downward facing dog, can you find the freedom through the shoulders as well as the legs? And then we're gonna step that left foot through between the hands, take a moment. Where are you feeling for right now? Maybe you wanna even yourself out and you wanna to go to the same on both sides. Usually that's what we tend to do. There's nothing wrong with that. So wherever you end up, we're gonna take those pulsations or undulations, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, float the hands back down, heel toe the left foot out and find your variation of lizard. Maybe staying with that little sway. 
and close your eyes. Closing the eyes is a really nice way to check in with what it is that you want. Just asking yourself, how does my body feel right now? Where could I go to make myself enjoy this 5%, 10% more than what I am right now? Where could I go? And if you're about to say Shavasana, <laughs> you'll get that soon, I promise. Okay, tucking under, back toes, lift the knee, bring the left foot back to the center line, left knee to nose, and then we're going to open it up to Vashisasana on the right arm this time. Now, either hold here or can you inhale, straighten arm, straighten leg, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, open, exhale, bring it in, inhale, open, and bring it down. Take that left foot carefully back to the top of the mat. Reach the left arm up, easy twist. Take an inhale, exhale, drop it over, revolve Skandasana. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale, push it all the way up again, bring it back round, frame the foot, and again, this time you're going to make your way back to your downward facing dog in any way that feels good for you right now. Making it back to the downward facing dog and find those wiggles again, find that movement. Hmm. Okay, dropping down to the knees, you're going to take the bottom back onto the heels. The knees are a little bit open and we're going to start to work our dancing camel, one of my favorite poses and just perfect for this particular flow. So from here, I take my right fingertips down and if you need to put two blocks either side of you to give you a bit more height, absolutely fine. I'm going to come round, inhale, push the hips forwards, reach the arms back. Exhale, bring it through center. Inhale, other side. Exhale, center. Inhale up. Exhale, center. Make it as big and expressive as possible. Inhale. Exhale. One more time each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful, come back to center, just place the hands on the knees. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, open. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, open one more time. Exhale, release, tuck under the toes and sit the bottom back on those heels, but you've got the toes tucked under or in a toe stand. So we're balancing here. Now, one breath, one action with the arms, but trying to stay as balanced as possible. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring hands through heart center, using that core. Inhale, open arms, cactus. Exhale, take a little rounding of the spine. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, open cactus. Exhale, find a little rounding. Now bring the hands to heart center, start to power through the legs as you come all the way up to standing. Can you stay on the tips of the toes as you reach those arms all the way up into the sky? Holding here. Breathing. And release the feet down. So you're at the, top, the back of your mat. Feet hip width apart, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cascade the body down to a forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, start to walk the hands forwards, find a high plank. Exhale here, inhale, exhale, take a vinyasa, make it as beautiful and as free as you wish. Take your time. 
make your way back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg all the way up and then take that right foot between the hands, push forwards, find a warrior three with the fingertips down. If you can, you might need to bend the knee to get there. Holding here, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, start to bend the knee and then dip the left knee behind. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dip. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, dip. Can you bring yourself all the way down to the mat? We're going to take Marit Chasana. Mar no, we're not taking, we're going to take Ardhamatsi Andrasana. Right leg's over the top, right hand behind. Inhale, take left arm all the way up and then take that elbow over, gazing behind you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, can you take the twist a little deeper? Inhale, one more time. Exhale, release. Now, freedom flow. Come to find a Navasana. What do you want from your Navasana? I'm gonna go for my Navasana, my boat, very much being on water. And it's pretty wavy out here today. So I'm really making this movement through my body, sort of as if I am this boat on water. Feel free to join me, or maybe there's something else that you are finding within your boat pose today. Maybe you take it the whole way down to your back. And then either you're gonna step yourself straight back to a downward facing dog, or you take a vinyasa, however it needs to look, or feel more importantly, making your way back to your downward facing dog. Nice, take a big inhale, sweep the left leg up and then step that left foot between the hands. Push off the back leg, find your warrior three with fingertips down. If you need to bend the leg, then do. Inhale here, exhale, hover and bend the right knee, taking it behind. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, can you float yourself all the way down to seated for Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Left hand behind, inhale, take the right arm up. And then exhale, taking that elbow over, gazing behind you. Breathing here, life, length into the body. One more breath. And then unravel. As you unravel, you know what's coming. It's that Navasana, it's that boat pose. Take what you need from the boat pose. Maybe your boat pose doesn't look anything like boat pose and you start to find some freedom in your movement on the mat. That's where I want you to come to now. Okay, so really working with your freedom. What is it that your body is asking for? How can you find your own dance within your body, within your breath, low down on your mat. A lot of what we did at the start of the practice was up high. Maybe you roll around, maybe you roll off the mat. Give yourself a chance to explore. Explore your vulnerability. Explore the places where you feel safe. <sighs> You're gonna take another minute or so here. Everything that you need that's feeling good. And it doesn't have to be, just because it's free movement doesn't mean it needs to be constant movement. What works for me isn't necessarily gonna work for you. It might be that for you right now, it's a child's pose and there's a sway in your child's pose. <sighs> few more breaths. And feeling that heat rise in the body as you move. So wherever you are at, you're going to start to very gracefully, authentically and creatively make your way onto your back. 
and it can be on your back, on your mat. And you're gonna hug the knees into the chest and take a little rock side to side. And we're gonna finish up with a little happy baby before we move into a full relaxation. So take the hands to the outside edges of the feet, draw the knees down by the side of you, close your eyes, and just take this really gentle rocking here. A few more breaths, just opening through those hips. How does that feel, checking in with the body, with the emotions? And then taking any final movement that you might want to really bring this practice to a close. Maybe there's something that your body, your intuition is telling you, you know what, we need that right now. And by all means, take it. Definitely take it. If you are ready to come down to restore in your Shavasana, then make your way there. Let the feet drop out to the sides. Just allow everything to be heavy on your mat. Palms facing upwards create space for the shoulder blades just to travel down the spine. The breath coming back to a soft rhythm. Can you tap into that little bit of fire and energy that you created within you? As you go throughout your day or your week, try to visualize that little burning bit of ember that's still there even when you've cooled down, even when you're out of the house. Knowing that the vulnerability that you bore into this practice, the energy that you bore into this practice, it's still there burning and really keeping you alight keeping that confidence shining. Know that showing up to a practice like this, not knowing what to expect, starting in the way that we did can be extremely daunting. So as you're here in your Shavasana and you allow yourself to really rest and reflect, reflect upon how proud of yourself you are just for showing up. Anything else that came after was a bonus, but you showed up and you came to this practice. Slowly bringing some feeling back into the fingers and toes, back into the physical body. Making it as slow as you need to, nice and gentle. Whenever you're ready, you'll make your way up to a seated position. And when you get there, just sit, eyes closed. One hand on top of the heart, over the heart center. Ground down through all parts of your body connected to the mat. Can you feel that energy rising? Can you feel that fire inside of you? Be proud of your body, your mind, your soul. We'll seal our practice with one releasing breath. Take a nice big inhale. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for doing that practice with me. 
Well done. And you've just got one more day left. So you've got day seven tomorrow. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed the free challenge so far. And I hope that you stay with me on the Soul Sanctuary and become a fully fledged member of the family because I know that all of the current members love having new family members that they can help support and talk to in the community. Or if you just want to be a silent member, you can do that as well. It's entirely up to you the way you use the Soul Sanctuary membership, but just know that I would love to have you and so would all of the other members. So yeah, I will see you on the mat tomorrow for day seven. And then I look forward to seeing you for lots more flows in the future. Bye-bye.